Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's gonna be my second YouTube video, and I'm finna do it on my sneaker collection. Yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, this is my second video, so I gotta start out with a bang, you know? I'm not finna hype it up, just get right into it. My sneaker collection. So I started, and I'm, this is on my shoes, like preview. And from the top row, that's gonna be my oldest shoes from these white Jordan ones, being like my first. Not my first shoe ever, but you know, my first shoe that I've kept and collected, you know. So it's gonna be my first one, and down here is gonna be my oldest. So All right, so here's my first shoe just a white, regular Jordan one, nothing too special. These highlight real ones, and these ones I got in ninth grade. I know I'm going to 11th grade now, but I got these in ninth. And the school that I was supposed to go to, I went, and the dress code was all white shoes or all black shoes, so I got these, right? But then I applied for another school, and they accepted me. So I got these. And these are the Highlight Real Jordan ones. I wear them a bunch, bunch, bunch. See the leather all scuffed up. Stars that were supposed to be there. Yeah. Two. And that's my oldest shoe. Going in middle wears, you know, middle wears. All the way down to here. But that's the highlight of one. Next, Gamma 11s. They look good from the upper. I do wear all of my shoes, you guys. Wear all of them. Wore these today, actually. Kind of yellow, but you know, it still looks good. And those are Gamma 11s. Next, white and Fred 6s. As you can see, I do wear them. Some yellow in there. There. You know, I just cleaned them so they look a little better. And there you go, white and Fred 6s. Next, I have the Birmingham Baron 9s. A nice little three M on the pull tab, I guess. And yeah, those are my Birmingham Bear Nines. Next, Carmine Sixes. You know, just regular Carmines. I have worn these two. It looks white, but a little bit of yellow there, there on the edge. I just recently cleaned up all of my shoes, so they're all gonna look pretty clean, but I do wear every single one, except for one shoe, but I just got that one. Next, just the grocery run, you know, go to the grocery store, get donuts, get a haircut, cut the grass, as you can see, some grass in there. Just regular grocery runs, you know. Next, I was super excited when I got this shoe. Super, super, super excited. These are the triple black foam posits. You know, almost a year old. I've only worn them about, I don't know, seven or six times. Six or seven times. Yeah. The suede's real soft. They're new, but whatever it is, you know. Super soft on those. Those are the triple black foam posits. I'll show you the bottoms. Yeah. Next, I have black infrared sixes. This is the one that released last year, November of 2014. As you can see, the 3M bottoms sucks because on this shoe you can see that scuff. My second time ever wearing them, I wore them to school, came home. I was gonna clean them up, and I saw that big scuff. Like, what the heck, man? But yeah, three M's nice on these. Those are black and red sixes. Next, I have gem red thirteens. And I recently went ice skating three days ago or two days ago, and they got scuffed up. When I scuffed, scratched like super bad. Can you see that? Hold on. Yeah, you can see it right there. 
when the big piece of the midsole came out too. Yeah, still super nice though. Jim Red 13s. Next, Legend Blue 11s. Focus. Yeah, Legend Blue 11s. I've worn them about three times, but each time I wear them, I do clean my shoes. So after each wear on these, I clean them. Just on these, because, you know, this icy blue part, I don't want it to turn yellow on me. Yeah. Next are the Barcelona Night 7s. This suede's crazy soft, man. Leather's nice. Suede. Or new book, whatever you know. Same difference. And yeah, those are my Barcelona Night Sevens. Next, we have Oreo Fours. Love these shoes, man. Look at the leather on it. Yeah. Stars are intact still. I remember those ones I showed you earlier in the video. The second pair of shoes supposed to look like this with the stars on it. But those are old. You can see the stars on those. Next I have Jordan 10 double nickels. People say 10s crease like crazy and you kind of do right there. But um, I wear sneaker shirts in all my shoes. Every single pair of shoes, except for my phone pockets. But yeah, you can see the creasing. It's not bad at all. That's some creasing right there, but yeah, that's about it. For the scroll on the bottom, it says all of his, I don't know, achievements, I guess. Yeah, achievements. Rookie of the year. Points, score title, dunk champ. All defense. 69 points. Championship, 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 beyond. Yeah. Those are the double nickel tents. Next. Foam posits. Super excited to get these, dude. You know, people always talk about foam posits like boot. Wearing whatever weather, winter, snow, rain. And they look good. And they do. When I got my black ones, I was thinking that. They were suede, so I couldn't, you know, mess up the suede. So I got these. These are nice, man. I hoped in these, like, once, too. Yeah. Those are my gem red foam posits. Gold lace tips. Next, I have hair sevens. These are the 2015 ones with the Nike ear on the insole. Yeah. Hair sevens. Next, just some house slippers. <laughs> and then Bordock sevens. Haven't worn these yet. These are the 2015 ones that came out about two weeks ago. With the Nike Air. Let's see. A little bit of glue, but nothing. Nothing too bad. So yeah. 2015 Bordock 7s. And my last shoe is my first LeBron ever. Well, my first other shoe that's not a Jordan or a foam to LeBron. These are the LeBron 12 Prisms. Got these when they released last week. I've worn them two times, cleaned them up though. And yeah, you can see the insole. That's nice, man. How it's like stitched in there. Yeah, LeBron 12 prisms. And that's my collection. These LeBrons being my newest shoe that I've gotten.
and those white ones be my first. That's all my shoes, you guys. Yeah, if you want a detailed review on any of these shoes, like these or any of them, you know, I'll review them, talk about them, give you my opinions on them, and if there's a story to go with them, I'll throw that in too. Maybe do an on feet, some good music on there, you know. Or just let me know what y'all want to do or what y'all want to see me do next. Yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.